Hey guys, what's up? This is Patrick from the bestvpnguide.com. Today we will be reviewing yet another VPN. Its name is private internet access. No, it's not a generic term like I want private internet access. It's a company name that is privateinternetaccess.com which is dedicated to provide solid VPN services. It's um, around I think three and a half years old the company started around August 2010 and it's been running pretty strong since then actually it grown quite popular so I decided I would review this after um, doing a couple of other VPN reviews so here we are today I just bought access to it yesterday and I have been testing it thoroughly since yesterday on my VPS uh, that is virtual private server as you may be knowing I do all the VPN reviews on my virtual private server as my own home internet connection or uh, is not very great so here we are today with private internet access I will walk you completely over my shoulders on how to set up configure and run it it's very easy to set up and understand and basically anyone can do it so upon installing it um, uh, starting first they have an installer for Mac and Windows and they have other setup guides for other devices like iPhone and Android so it pretty much supports every operating system I think and majority of devices so I'll be doing an in-depth written review too on my blog that is the bestvpnguide.com I'll be leaving link to it uh, in the YouTube description below so don't forget to check it out so anyway um, when you install uh, their setup you will get an icon of private internet access with a cartoon like man um, you just click on it and it will start and appear here in the notifications tray uh, it will by default show as red that means um, uh, the status is disconnected but when you connect to a VPN server it will turn out green which basically means your connection is encrypted and your privacy is secured so as you can see it's red currently um, they do have quite a bit of servers including um, you can see where it is yeah here Switzerland now this is very impressive um you guys surely know about the Swiss privacy and their policy of how they keep your data secure and don't hand over it and and you surely know that um, how big businessmen and industrialists keeps their many funds in the Swiss bank so this one point makes it even more great uh, to have a server in Switzerland to ensure maximum privacy anyway so uh, on starting you can get a screen like this uh, which will as you can see ask your username and password it will remember it um, automatically uh, when you install it it will ask for the first time and it will remember your credentials uh, you can see then it will also remember if you ran it last your last server uh, for quick access on clicking advanced you can see various uh, things like configure connection type like UDP or TCP you can either leave it to TCP or UDP it doesn't matter whatever works best for you um, these are then settings for advanced or tech savvy geeks 
uh, unless you are knowing what you are doing I wouldn't recommend to touch that uh, and leave it to auto uh, then local port port forwarding I would leave it checked um, I think it was not checked by default but I can leave it checked so that your ports are not blocked which are reopening by default it's good and many programs that does utilize port forwarding so it's great as well then you can again check this uh, VPN kill switch now this is a great feature um, what it does is uh, if you are utilizing a VPN uh, and want maximum anonymity and don't want anywhere uh, to reveal your identity or something then you can check this what it does if in case if your VPN connection is disconnected then it will disable your internet and basically it won't let um, any of your programs including internet browser or anything to use it so your online identity is safe and won't be Okay, then moving on to DNS leak protection, you can leave it checked or unchecked unless you are knowing what it is. Um, I would leave it checked. Um, it doesn't matter much, I think. Then IPv6 leak protection, you can disable IPv6 while on the VPN. Uh, in case you don't know, is the new protocol of internet address. It will replace... Uh, the standard number format of IP address you have now like 123.123.123.123 it will be replacing that as the numbers are running out um, over the world so IPv6 came into existence but um, uh, it shouldn't matter much um, I mean just leave it to whatever it is by default then there is a two main settings like start application and login which uh, basically means that whenever your windows or your operating system boots you can start it automatically and there's another sub option like uh, auto connect when app is started which means if your uh, application that is VPN is started then auto connect to the server which you have selected here upon the app being started which is good um, like enabling the production uh, uh, right from starting the operating system which is nice feature I think then the last thing we have here is encryption now they have great encryption uh, policy uh, multiple layer of encryption and cryptography levels which is great I think uh, it has pretty good good protection so you can have maximum privacy so that's it um the client is nothing much fancy but is uh, it is very useful and does what it intends to i mean you need a good vpn connection right nothing uh, no bells and whistles but uh, it has got pretty good settings and configurations for advanced users and lets you configure most of things that you want from your VPN company so moving on um, I will be connecting the VPN now um, as you may have known from my previous video reviews that my server is in Germany so I would be connecting to a Germany server uh, uh, so once connected I would see you in a while then okay I am now connected uh, as you can see this icon has turned green which was red previously it now shows as connected um, Germany server port 41539 uh, now we would do speed test as you guys may have known that the speed of my VPS is very high VPS in general has good speeds so my VPS speeds revolve around 150 to 200 Mbps of download and around uh, 150 to 180 Mbps of upload speed 
so with regards to that uh, we would be doing a speed test of private internet access VPN to get an idea of how good speeds they do offer so I will be testing on www.speedtest.net So we will now begin with the speed test. You can let it select the server automatically and just click begin test. It will select the best server based on your ping. Awesome. Uh, generally my download speed as I said revolves around 150 to 200 mbps by default without using a VPN so with regards to that it is very impressive and the upload speed is also uh, around 150 or so by default so I think the upload speed is great as well um, there is not much of a difference and this is a VPS as I say virtual private server on your home internet connection it would be even better and I don't think you would notice any much of a difference the speed are great so I think private internet access VPN did stand the test of the time and it's a great company I think overall nothing too much fancy with their client but they do what they are supposed to do and offers great speed cheap prices uh, good support what much you want then from your VPN company it offers basically everything pretty good so I do certainly recommend this VPN they do not keep your uh, browsing uh, logs but I think they keep your basic logs which basically any company would keep they don't want to risk their business and unless you're doing anything shady or fishy or sketchy illegal stuff then you should be definitely fine with them I would certainly recommend it you can get the private internet access VPN uh, by going to link that I would be leaving in the video description as well as it is flashing now on your screen you can go on it and check them out and you can also as I say check my detailed review out on my blog um, hope you guys were able to uh, understand my accent uh, as you may have known from the previous videos I am not a native English speaker but I will try my best um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful uh, this tutorial was exclusively brought to you by the best VPN guide.com so don't forget to leave uh, comments uh, likes and subscribe to our youtube channel for more upcoming video reviews and tutorials related to vpn also don't forget to visit our blog that is www.thebestvpnguide.com and finally if you have any questions doubts or uh, any suggestions or feedback please feel free to leave comments below and i will try my best to answer them so until then, um, goodbye. Thanks for watching.